Praise God this morning. Thank God again for another day. We are going head on crash, head on victory, head on whatever. We are talking here this week financial revelation. And I thank God for the word and the encouragement I getting from the from the uh, from the testimonies and also from the the prayer requests. It's a tremendous ministry I've been started here. I would commend all people who are in the prayer request system. Look out for manifestation. It is coming heavy. God will show up for us in a tremendous way. Those who partake and obey of the structure. All the newcomers, come on in and bring your requests. God, God know. Listen to this today. We are talking here how to receive God's way. God's way. You know, the ways of God sometimes is very hard sometimes. Many of us believe that serving God is a, is a walk in the park. But serving God can be very hard if there is disobedience and rebelliousness and lack of love. If there is lack of love in the walk with God, it will be hard. Love is the fulfillment of everything. Love is the challenge that we have to really use to penetrate God's way. God's way will not work for no one if there is no genuine agape love or the attempt to obtain agape love. Agape love produces that, that genuineness and brings you in a place to be to identify God's way in our walk, in our daily life. And we're talking here about how to, how to really receive God's way. And I'll take this morning to give a Matthew chapter 6. Matthew 6, verse 30 says, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, see that word which today is? Which today is? If God could feed the grass of the field today, not 2,000 years ago, you know, today, and tomorrow it cast into the oven, shall he not much more Clothe you, clothe you, me, clothe you, oh you little, oh you of little faith. So it boils back down again to faith when you wants to receive God's way. God's way is only identified through faith in God. Word. When you have faith in God's word, God's word. You can readjust your life. You could come out of sin, come out of hate, come out of anger, come out of bitterness when you could identify God's word through faith. Faith is the identifier. When you identify God's word through faith, it brings you to identify God's way. It says here, in verse 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or whether, whether, whether all shall we be clothed? And when you have God's way, clothes and food and, and all these things, and, you know, and drinks, all these things should not be categorized as, a, as major, major, uh, Major hunger, like God's word. It's better your hunger and thirst for God's word than for clothes and drink, you know, all these things. And God's word should be hungered for. And when you, when you do that by faith, you will be able to identify the ways of God and make certain changes in your life. Look, I have made so much changes in my family life in these couple of days because of God's word and God's way. When God's way show up, you, 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 you decrease and God's word increase. And, you know, verse 32 says, For after all these things do the Gentiles seek clothes and drink and hairstyle and suits and ties and you know, for after all these things with the Gentiles, the one who was not was not um 
who didn't believe that they are, they are in the family of God. One who had no, believe they had no covenant with God. One who believed that, that God doesn't care about them. The Gentiles, the outside children of God, thinking when you when you outside of the of God's kingdom, you you are being blacklisted like slaves and black and, and skin color and, and and all these things. You believe you are outside God's way. Nobody, no human being is out of God's ways. All of us have access to it. We say, for after all these things, the Gentiles seek for your heavenly Father. Here you get one. Your heavenly Father, your heavenly Father, know it that you have need of all these things. So God's ways know what you need before you get it or before you even ask for it or before you even think about it. God know what you need. God know what I need. And sometimes God know what I need years ago and he will not give it to me. A person asked me yesterday, do you believe that God, that God doesn't hear us? I said, but I, I can't believe that. No. I said, well, do you believe, do you believe that God, God is ignorant us? I say, God, God don't ignore, ignore us. No. We just ignore God. You know, and verse, verse 33 says, but seek ye first. See that first? The kingdom of God and the right way of doing things, righteousness. And all these things shall be added, not take away to you. I want to zoom in on, on, on seeking force. And seeking force is the hardest thing a child of God is struggling with. How to get see God first. I have been doing this now for the past 20, 28 days, you know, no, uh, 24 days, you know, that seeking God first. Every morning, seeking God first. There should be benefits of seeking God first. But seeking first God's kingdom and righteousness, right ways of doing things. Stop some things I do. Some things I do, and I stop it. Things I'm saying, I stop it. Things I'm thinking, I stop it. Things I want, I stop it. You have to stop things, deliberately stop things, you know, to find righteousness. That's what I am doing this month of January 2024. You know, and all these things shall be added, not take away, added to you. And verse 24 says, Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thoughts or for the things of sufficient or for itself. And listen to this sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. That means don't be greedy. Sufficient. That means if you want, if you want to be excessive, you want more too quick. You say that will bring you the evil. Sufficient unto the days is the the evil thereof. Don't be greedy. Learn to give. Learn to share. And don't be anxious for nothing. God watching you. Remember this. God's way is easy to find. Call me there. Remember, prayer request. Listen to that video. Much love.